Hello friends, I welcome you all on India's largest and number one e-learning educational platform that is Gueda. All the candidates who are joining me live, just tell, just tell me, uh, are you aware that the Grade Up has started a 75 days free crash course for your engineering services prelims examination 2021. Already some subjects are covered and now I am going to start engineering ethics that is ethics and values in engineering profession for a complete coverage of what are the essential requirements of this particular subject. In today's session, in this short video, I will tell you about what is the weightage analysis, how many questions are going to be asked as far as the previous year examination are concerned and what is going to be the level of question as per the previous year examination questions we already have. You must be aware that since 2017 because of the drastic change in the pattern in which the engineering services examination is concerned with lot many changes one new subject one new topic is introduced that is engineering ethics. Since 2017 most of the students are confused how to prepare this subject, how to approach this particular subject and what we should do and what we should not do. Now to give you the final solution for this particular topic that is engineering ethics, I will be coming live on the Grade Up platform, Grade Up Gate YouTube channel. I will be telling you the exact schedule of the classes. You can take the screenshot and you can follow the classes as per your requirement. Let me tell you, as per the schedule, the classes are going to be running 11.30 a.m. in the morning. So you can book your slot. You can reserve your timing because 11.30, approximately 45 minutes to one hour is going to be the duration of the class. And we'll be having several sessions which will almost cover each and every part of the essential requirements of this particular subject. Some of you may be joining me for the first time, so let me just give you a brief introduction about myself. My name is Ashutosh. As you can see on the screen, I have 10 plus years of teaching experience, completed MTech from IIT BHU in 2010. I have written a couple of books. One of the book written by me, Engineering Ethics, some of you might have read and it is still now available in the market, okay. But you will find my name in the 2019 edition. You know what is the reason. And these are my other areas of expertise which I deal with my students. If you talk about the exact schedule, the schedule is going to be started from 20th of May, where we will be starting what, why, where about the engineering ethics, we will discuss about how you should approach this particular subject and what are the different areas from where questions can be asked. Similarly, starting from 20th of May, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30th. So till the last of your May month, we are going to discuss and cover each and every part of your subject. How we are going to approach this subject in this series, let us try to understand first. It is going to be concepts through questions. The basic idea behind this series is that we are going to have more and more number of questions. We will be solving more and more number of questions in the class. And with the help of these questions, I will give you the backward and forward linkages to understand that particular topic and how you should approach all these topics in your examination. If you want a theoretical backup for all these series, then you can go to the Guide Up Impulse channel. Or mechanical marvels, or you can go to the civil champion. All these YouTube channels of the grid up, a complete coverage of theoretical backup of these topics is covered by me. That is available in the playlist. If you see the engineering ethics playlist in these channels, you will be finding all the sessions. You can watch these sessions and you can enhance your learning because still there are two, three days left. So before you come to the first class, I would suggest you, I would recommend, recommend you that you please go through all these 9, 10 lectures. 
that is going to give you enough understanding. Is it clear for all of you? And let me tell you the timing once again. The timing is going to be 11.30 a.m. in the morning. This is about the grade up students gate 2021 result. You can see what can be the better result more than 10 students in the top 10 and you can be the next one in this frame. These are our upcoming courses. May 20, we are going to start the Hindi batch for ASE and gate electrical aspirant. Similarly, for other branches also, if you are interested, you can go for it. 21st of May, we are going to start the 7th batch of Vision 2022 for AC and Gate Electrical Aspirant. So, if you are interested, you can talk to our counsellors on this number and definitely you will be assisted positively. Before we <coughs> start this subject, it is very important to understand that what is the actual weightage of this subject when it comes to your engineering services examination. Because I have seen most of the students, they take this subject very lightly because they say that most of the questions are going to be common sense. So, why to read about them? Let me just tell you the history. The history says that since 2017, 18, 19, 20, if you see how many questions were asked in respective years, six questions were asked out of the total questions asked in that GS paper 1 from engineering ethics. 2018, it was seven questions. 2019 was a very important year for engineering ethics because for the first time almost 14 questions were asked and you can understand the weightage of 14 questions. If you see your technical part, even some good uh, subjects, technical subjects, they are not having this much weightage in your engineering services examination. So you can understand it is going to be a really, really important subject for yourself to get through not only in the prelims examination but have a very good rank because you know that for engineering services examination the marks you are going to score in the engineering services prelims examination are going to be added to the final merit list and it will give you an edge over other students to have a better rank and better career opportunity if you see 2020 in 2020 five six questions were asked one or two questions there was a dilemma among the students that whether it is related to current affairs or ethics so taking the worst case i have taken five questions in 2020 but you please understand if you ask me sir what is going to happen in 2021 then i will give you a simple logic there is no rocket science and i am not a jyotishi that i can tell you that what is going to happen in the future what all we are going to discuss here that will be based on facts if you see this chart, then you will understand that all these years, the number of questions which are asked, if you take the average, the average is going to be 8 questions. <coughs> average is going to be 8 questions. So, if you ask me, sir, how many questions can be asked in 2021, then my answer will be that the worst case is 8 to 12 questions. And if you ask me the best case, the best case there will be 15 to 20 questions. So you can understand that this subject is going to be a really deciding factor and why it is not just a common sense based paper I will tell you because most of the teacher they are also saying to their students that don't read anything about engineering ethics it is very common sense my friend it is UPSC when UPSC asks the simplest question most of the people are not able to do it because it is UPSC it is not a small level exam. Let me just give you the example of some of the questions which were asked in the previous year. I am taking the example of 2019 because it is the recent one. When I started teaching engineering ethics, I started teaching different branches of philosophy and one of the branch of philosophy is epistemology. When we will discuss about these branches of philosophy, when we will discuss the questions in our uh, regular classes then we'll understand about this but let me tell you when I started teaching ethics and I started teaching philosophy at the starting some of the candidates they were very much confused that we are supposed to read ethics why sir is teaching us philosophy because my friend the reason is ethics is a branch of moral philosophy so until and unless you know what are the roots of ethics, you will not be able to deal with this subject in the real examination. And 2019, there was a question on the epistemology and it was a very simple question. If you are able to understand the different branches of philosophy, you will understand. 
I hope you are able to understand that without a proper reading, you will not be able to handle the questions in the real examination. So it is very, very important that you go and prepare this subject with all your 100% concentration because this is the subject. If you can work this much hard, you will be getting this much marks. The hard work or effort you are going to put is only this much. Why? I will tell you later on. If you see the next question, the next question again when I started teaching ethics, when I used to discuss about the process of socialization, I used to teach about lot many things. The students were still confused because they were not finding it anywhere else. And in 2019, a question was asked on the convergence theory of social change. Now, if you want to understand this convergence theory of social change, then you must understand the Riggs Prisma Sela model. Riggs was a sociological thinker. <clears throat> and that is why I always say that when it comes to ethics, you do not need to remember the name of the philosophers or the thinkers, but what they have said, what theory they have given, that is very, very important for you because questions are going to be accordingly in that direction only. Now, as per the Riggs Prisma Sela model, if you understand this model, very easily you can answer this convergence theory of social change, which is having the answer as the definition of this convergence theory is as societies became more and more modernized, they begin to resemble one another and the best example is McDonald's burger. Even if you see the remotest village in India, the moment it is going to develop, what is the first thing you can identify there? McDonald's burger. Americanization, it is better to call it Americanization, which is generally called as globalization. It is not globalization, it is Americanization. So all these phenomena, globalization, Americanization or in the best way with the Rex Prisma Sela model, you can understand very easily within one shot, you will be very confidently answering what is the exact answer. So this much depth of understanding is required in this subject. So my suggestion and recommendation to all of you is that do not take this subject lightly. Let us see the next question. Next question they talked about societal development. Until and unless you understand society, you cannot understand ethics. What is ethics? Ethics is nothing but those values which society is going to impose upon you, which society wants you to follow. So if you want to read ethics, you have to understand society also. Little bit of sociology you have to read. Not just to answer questions in the examination, but to have a better command over the subject. I hope you are getting my point. The correct answer for this question was that behaviors are going to grow into habit. Habit will become tradition and tradition will become custom. We'll discuss all these things. And if you want the theoretical exact complete backup, then you can go to the impulse channel, mechanical marvels or civil champions and you will get a complete playlist of all the topics of engineering ethics. And in a very small time, you will be able to completely prepare this subject. Small effort, big score. That is what you are going to get. One question was given in the before the 2017 examination in the sample paper. Why I have taken this question? Because I want to tell you something as per the difficulty level of the question is concerned in the engineering services examination as far as ethics is concerned. If you see he is asking the definition of moral. What is the definition of moral? If you ask me the simplest definition of moral, moral is nothing but a set of values which talk about right and wrong and that is individualistic sanction. Individualistic sanction means society is not imposing upon you that do this, do that, this is right, this is wrong. You yourself you are deciding that this is right, this is wrong. Accordingly, you are making your behavior. As for this definition, let us try to test what are the correct options. If you see the first statement, being or acting in accordance with the standards and precept of goodness. This is the correct statement. This is talking about moral. 
arising from the conscience what is conscience conscience means inner voice antaratma ki awaaz or a sense of right and wrong that is exactly what is moral because you are putting this time this is right and this is wrong so what is that inner voice or conscience a concisely expressed precept or the general truth or a maxim now this is wrong why this is wrong general truth is not going to be under the realm of ethic or ethics or well morals why because the sun rises in the east this is a general truth or maxim but it has no relation with whether it is ethical or unethical moral or immoral so this statement is going to be wrong fourth statement the principles of conduct governing an individual or a profession standard of behavior that is also correct so only one option is incorrect that is third so what is the correct answer the correct answer is going to be 1 2 and 4 my friend you can understand even though he is simply asking you the definition of morals but until and unless you have at most understanding of the depth of the concept you will not be able to deal with the question in the engineering services examination in the upsc people are saying they are common sense questions can you answer it with the common sense no one simple concept if you miss you are going to miss the question so please understand take this subject very seriously so this is all for this short video i hope you must understand the importance the weightage analysis the level of questions for your upsc engineering services examination i will be waiting for you and i welcome you to join me in this great great series of ESC 75 days course where we are going to do the first of its kind a concept through question analysis for engineering ethics and let me tell you one thing it is going to be 100% comprehensive when i say 100% comprehensive it means you do not require any book you do not require any internet resource you do not require any question practice book and you do not require any notes if you follow this series and the theoretical backup series your ethics will be completely prepared thank you so much grade up ke sath sahi prep hai to life set hai thank you so much thank you thank you everybody take care